Humanity, you're exhausting. Every day seems to hold a new batch of human idiocy. From self-absorbed web celebrities to hashtag your cause here, humanity has devolved into a salty sea of toxic self-involvement. No matter what the topic, no one can discuss it in a civilized manner. They all just bitch, cry, and shriek their views as if theirs is the only one with the right to exist. And whoever has the most retweets wins. Humanity has become a joke. One long toxic hobbling gag that should have been put down a long time ago. And maybe my perspective is a bit jaded. I've kind of been stuck in a shit for decades seeing the same garbage recycle itself over and over. From old ideas constantly being rebooted to the blatant stupidity of certain movements that fail to see the irony in their own existence. The internet apparently just thrives on negativity and the voices of reason just choose not to participate. And I'm slowly moving in that direction. The internet is like living in the ocean. You don't realize how bad it is until you somehow get washed up on shore. Then, as you're floundering around without internet, mainly because of a prolonged blackout, you suddenly stop, take a breath of fresh air, and look back at the sea from a distance. Then, you realize just how toxic that ocean is. Just how salty it is. Every swim through it is a trial in navigating waves of AIDS-infested waters, cancerous undertoes, and random creatures of the deep just ready to drag you back into the toxic depths below. And so, for my mental health, I'm choosing to hang out on the beach. You know, dip my toe in every once in a while and keep away from the deep dark ends of the sea. Don't worry, I'll still throw my message in a bottle out there every so often. But I'm not going to waste my time navigating the syringe-laced waters that are the comment sections of most every website. And I advise every rational individual to do the same. Take a break. Stop bickering with idiots posting uninformed opinions. Don't get sucked into the undertow of political debates, self-involved causes, and just sail right past that look at me selfie culture. Don't waste eight hours a day trying to watch every video that's posted. Just watch the ones that matter to you. I mean, honestly, after being on the internet for almost two decades, it's only gotten worse. As the internet has grown, so is the trash. And yeah, not everyone is bad. There's a lot of good groups doing good things out there. But I gotta say, traversing the caustic seas to get to those few island oasises is getting to be not worth the swim. And is it oasises or oasi? Oasi? Oasi. Oh, oasi. Oasises. Oasises. Oh, whatever. Internet. Be better. Christ. Every time you log on, no matter what it is, some idiot's got to be like, Oh, God, the internet is literal ear rape in visual form. I can't stand it.